Hey folks, it's Josh from Industrial Logic, and I want to talk about scaling. Scaling Agile. Everyone wants to do it. Agile's so great, we should all be Agile. Let's scale it across hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people in our organization, right? No, actually, don't do that. Stop. You barely know what Agile means, and you really haven't demonstrated any working models for it in your company yet. You haven't actually created a team that you can point to and say, this is what we mean by agility. We'd like to replicate this, which what we did in our company. We helped to create the conditions for agility. We helped train and coach a team. They are awesome and we want to repeat that. Instead, the approach is let's get some training, let's sheep dip people into the training, and let's spread this far and wide. And guess what? For the most part, that doesn't work well. You are far better bringing a flavor of agility into the organization and seeing if it works on one, maybe two teams at once. Get some data from that. You're probably going to fail. Most of those uh, initiatives do fail. Come back, figure out why it failed, then go in again and try it again. In my experience, there's so many issues that an organization has that prevent agility that any kind of strategy to quickly scale is doomed to fail. You've got to get some empirical evidence of genuine agility. And I'm not talking about checkboxes. We are sprinting. We are doing retrospectives. We are estimating. I mean, I'm talking about genuine agility, which shows outcomes, right? Uh, one team we worked with, they delivered on their promise. They were, so, they were ahead of their delivery schedule. They had to pull things from at least two into release one because they were getting the job done. Getting a job done is an outcome, right? It's the company badly needed that product and they produced it. So think about starting small when it comes to scaling. 